Alrighty then, good evening once again everybody, uh, Silver Dragon here, continuing on with some more Dwarf Fortress Madness. Let's go ahead and resume and let them get back to work here, as they slowly build up the first floor of the castle. Now, once we get this sort of designated out, we're probably gonna quickly whip together the inn here and get that dealt with, as I would like to have some visitors show up. So it'd be nice to get that uh, set up. Afterwards, we will immediately move to building the second floor of the castle here, which would then floor in everything down below. So we should be good after that. It's going to take a bit of time, but I believe, what is it I calculated? I could fit 20, 20 bedrooms per floor. So we're going to need at least, what is it, five floors worth of bedrooms? For our fort and then after that we're gonna have the nobles quarters maybe four I could probably get away with four then I could have separate smaller bedrooms in other locations for the dwarves such as down in the mines or something I'm not gonna be doing any Aurora 4x tonight though no I really should do more of it but I just I, I don't have much time lately at all work has been crazy among other things I'm also potentially working, uh, not working, but uh, thinking about moving, so that's something I'm... Oh, I have to deal with this issue here soon. That might also delay uh, content and whatnot. Although it would depend. Okay, this one is a barracks. The smooth nets. Okay. So this is the barracks as well, but it's not going to be used yet. All right. It's like yes, I have seen Chef. It is a fantastic movie. But screw off. <laughs> I'm assuming it was spam, since all I see is message deleted, but anywho. Either way, good on you, good sir. Alright. How you guys doing? What the hell are you doing in there? He's drinking right now. You damn drunken bastard! Nah, anyway. Prepare fine meals, food stockpile. So it's all piling up. How are we doing here? So we have 614 fish, 239 drinks, decent, and a whole lot of seeds and such. So we are definitely good there. Alright, let's see about linking these up to the bridges now. If we have enough mechanisms, we do. Has any of this been touched yet? Of course not. Why would it? It's going to take a long time for them to get around to building that, it seems. I don't know why, but they're just making it difficult for me. Yeah, it's basically spam. I thought so. I thought so. Uh-oh. What are you doing roaming around there? Stray water buffalo. The bulls are all locked down. Everything else should be locked down. So it probably just needs someone to run over, pick up the bull and or water buffalo and put them back in place, more than likely. Alright. I should remove that front here sometime soon as well. We still have a couple of sections of wall there that's just, uh... Oh, yeah. But I'd have to make sure they could prioritize it, which right now they're having some significant issues with prioritization. Even when they finish a major task like this, it seems like they just... They just don't want to get done when I want them to get done. I like how they f almost finished the wall, then move the object underneath it, and then they finish the wall instantly. That's funny. Silly dwarves. I swear sometimes. 
Sometimes I wonder, dwarves. Alright, we're gonna need a lot more tables than that. Okay. A lot more tables. Speaking of which, have they built this damn thing yet? Finally, they have. Build tables, build chairs. And really, all I want at the moment is tables and chairs. Alright, let's repeat those orders. Alt W. Add limit. Shift enter for advanced. Want to set it to masterful quality. We'll set the range to, I want, 20 to 30. Let's go 10 to 20. That should be good. Create new. Shift enter. Masterful quality. Create. Now, who is our best stonemason? Wow. I think the best we have to do, or we have, is like him. And that's kind of sad. Alright, Cricks. Let's set him in under here. Workshop profile. I'll allow him to do it. Let me have him do the task now, that it should force him down here. As he is now the only one capable of doing it, and I have removed all of his other labors. Now the problem is, I'm not sure if he'll be able to do it. If he doesn't have masterful quality skill, he might not be able to make a master quality item. Oh yes, let's see how we're doing in the stairway here. Okay, I seriously have got to get my miners shit together. Let me do that right now. Because they're, they're having too many... They're having too many damn problems getting this shit done. If you're a farmer, then farm. There we go. Confirm. That should get those little buggers back to work, I hope. Let's see, he hasn't come down here yet. Might be sleeping. Let's actually take a look here. Unit list. He's currently making a rock... Rock pots. Get him to work downstairs. I should set someone else on that, actually. Who else do I have that's a stone crafter? I should have some other person. At least one. Cyril. Cyril Z. Alright. Workshop profile. He's also a butcher, apparently. Alright, so he can make... He'll be the only one that'll be able to make pots there now. What I do is wall in until I prep my army, then open the gates, and whoever dies, dies. I usually just start going with it. 
I try not to close myself off completely. Just because it makes things too easy. Let's see here. Alright. Have they started on this at all? They have, finally. Link to... Not a great... Hmm... A, apparently. Oh yeah, so I completely forgot about our well. Ah, screw it. Don't know what happened to our artifact uh, bucket, but it's just gone. So someone could just rebuild that. If they get the chance, we can move on with our lives. Build, capital C, upstairs. Out of, slate blocks. Good, resume. How many blocks do we actually have right now? Five hundred and thirty-four. Hmm. We have eight hundred and no, 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 no. We have eight hundred and nine slate blocks and two hundred and forty-eight marble blocks. Okay. Consider your jobs suspended for now. And this is done. Time to get to work on real jobs, damn it. Now those four guys who were constantly stuck down there can actually go build stuff. Proper stuff. Bone sword is okay, but a bucket? Yep, they made an artifact bucket. Let's take a look here. All craft store ship is of the highest quality. It is encircled with bands of ash and almond wood. It menaces with, er, menaces with spikes of willow. Lovely. The Harmonious Cacti, an Ashen Bucket. Which is interesting, because in the next version of uh, DF that uh, Toadie is releasing, artifacts become much, much, much more important. They also have a kind of a subcategory as uh, heirlooms and such. So you'll be able to take artifacts and put them on display in cabinets. And... Other things as well, such as like an elf skull you could take and put into it. Oh, I think I remember where it was before, but I don't know if it's still there. Probably is, actually. Wow, that lag though is beginning to piss me off. We have 20 wooden bins here. No, it has been moved. So someone took it somewhere. Alright, we're good to go. So most of the castle here has been finished up, at least partially done. Let me double check my mechanisms here. It's like, get to work, buddies! Dear Lord, it's taking them forever to get anything done. Displays are already in the game. But I think that has to more do with important uh, artifacts and the inheriting of artifacts and stuff like that. Anywho. Are they training away as always? Let's take a look here. Looks like the Forgotten Beast is uh, MIA for the moment, but 
I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't underestimate him. He'll probably pop up somewhere unexpected and murder me. It's usually how it works. There we go. Let them resume. Get that done. So my phone is dying. Oh joy! Uh, also, if a human kills a forgotten beast or a colossus with a sword, it will become an artifact. Yeah, badass shit like that. Or a named item. It. I named the Colossus Bane! Any creature. Yeah. Which is intriguing. Dear lord, they are really fighting it out. All suspended. Blarg. My dwarves just can't get anything done right now. Yeah, 40 FPS shouldn't be this bad. But now it's even dropping into the 30s. Dear Lord. This might be one of those forts that is really, really epic, but then dies shortly due to lag. I really don't want that to happen. Shift H, F5, zoom here. Temporarily. Let's see what happens. This might unlock the C. Interesting. It's not going to work. Magma flow. I might actually be a bit screwed then. Depending. We might not have access to any lava, which would be weird. But we might not. Alright, lads, get to work. Peace out, mate. See any hot surface indications at all? We just found molten rock. The hell? This might do it, but I don't know for sure. Just like trying everything I can right now in the book. Magma flow. Hmm. Okay.
Magma flow. It's a special type of map tile found at the bottom of the magma sea, forming the floor above the semi molten layer. Items dropped into the magma flow from above will disappear. Same as when dropped into a chasm. So, oh, here we go. Found some. Okay, get to work, lads. Good, so we found the ma a little bit of magma, at least. Have you ever made a vampire necromancer fort? Uh, yes, I have made, or at least attempted to make a vampire fort before. But again, I think lag eventually killed that one. Which is why I think all further forts are going to be restricted uh, quite heavily in their width. Maybe even 2x2 two two forts from now on. Just to ensure that we don't have this much ridiculous lag. Which will really compact things in as well. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Not detecting anything yet. There it is. how it off-centers me, so something's really weird like that. This is off. This is really weird. I'm like, what the hell is happening? We aren't finding any lava, but we are finding a lot of hot stone. Well, we'll see what happens. Finally found the magma sea. Took a while. We finally found her. Rodamantine! Praise the miners, indeed. Always gotta praise the miners. Let me find where it breached, because we might be flooding the fort a little bit here. Good. Okay, good. Alright, we got magma. Apparently we also have candy somewhere. Oh, there it is. There's some candy. Not a lot of it, but hey. I'm not complaining too much. Where the hell is my stairway? There it is. All right. Want to go? Let's go down. Nope, too far. Excellent. Resume. Let's have them 
excavate a bit more here as well so we can actually store all this junk. We'll need a decent sized room. Hey! I think he means in the advanced, uh, the, the next update. It might work like that, where you can make uh, necromancy tomes. Don't know how well that would work, but hey! Alright, let's start getting the tavern built, finally. Took a bloody long time, but hey. Designate, remove designation. I wonder if it automatically removes the designation if I place that. Possibly, but I doubt it. Anyway, that's a little bit less for us to deal with. Hopefully I'll slowly get all this working. Let's go. Again, it double taps me down. What the hell? What the hell, game? Enough with your shenanigans. At a limit. Let's try making a masterwork craft quality door. Range. Oh, let's go 20 to 30. Create. Because we'll need a lot of freaking doors. A lot of damn doors. Now, after the tavern's built, we're going to work on the second floor. At least get that slowly built up. Get it roofed in. Get some guys some basic bedrooms. And then I might spare some dwarves to start working on the, uh... What the hell is it called? The mausoleum. weapon and armor stand in here. Actually, what? Let me remove this. Remove all those beds. We'll transport them into the next room. Or transplant them into the next room. Either way. Either way, they're getting moved. It's kind of funny that this is winter right now. We have no tables or chairs. I thought so. Hmm. Damn. So until they get a certain skill, they will not be able to do that. So as much as I would have loved for that to happen... Actually, for one... Oh, weird. He's actually making the door, though. Will it be a masterfully crafted door, though? Also, who's making it? Some random guy is apparently making it. Yeah, this lag is like almost unbearable for me. We barely have 50 dwarves. That's just not acceptable. So this fort might end up getting obliterated by itself. <laughs> Which would be very unfortunate as I was hoping to... I was hoping to do a really good job defending this one and turn it into something nice that we fi since we finally have bloody steel after so damn long. Ah, uh, I'll have to look for another location that has steel, potentially. But that's only if the FPS starts dropping below 20. If that happens, then I'm just going to be like, nope, we're screwed. 
So I can try try as all I can uh, all I can at that point, but I'm pretty sure we'd still be screwed. Which would be incredibly freaking disappointing, though. But yeah, again, if that does happen, I'm not going to be running large maps like this again. It's just it's pointless. We can't get anything done on these large maps. I really wish he'd work on some optimization, but something tells me that's never going to happen. Some way that uh, DF can get some more performance. Change orientation. We don't have enough logs. God damn it. It's not one thing, it's another. Delete, yes. Cancel. Alright. Read somebody you can already do that. Requires you to roll a literate adventure and retire fort. Basically, you go to a tower, read the slab, go to your fort, write the books until you get the fun kind of book, then you unretire the fort, and eventually your fort fills the necromancers when dwarves read that book. Ah. Well, that's interesting. I mean, I used to create vampires by uh, essentially sticking vampires in a hole, uh, making them bleed everywhere, then filling it with water and making everyone drink from that source. Don't know if you can have both a vampire and a necromancer. I haven't done that science yet. You could! You should, because if you have a necromancer, and then you forced him to drink the blood of a vampire through water, then that should function as such. But then again, it would be very, very difficult to set up something like that. Ah. All right. Bugger. This is gonna take them a while. Again, why does it off-center me like this? Something is seriously fucked up in that regard. It should be dragging me directly dead center. Just saying, let me go like this, maybe. issue I've noticed for a while. Yeah, again, see? It's off-center to me. Because I know that when I was using Stone Sense before, everything was off-center slightly to the left, so something is really screwed up with the camera in this version. I don't know why. But it's really goddamn annoying. All right, resume. Bollocks. They meant a dwarf making the book of the dead during a fort. No. I wonder though, because I know Masterwork did allow for books of the dead to be around. I'm not sure if you could actually buy one, but it would definitely be something interesting to try. And then just constantly resume, because it's going to keep yes. making interruptions. Oh, great. God damn it. Possession. Why did it have to be a possession? See if there's a bug report on it. Also, some goose became a gander or something along those lines, or some critter grew up, essentially.
Oh, sigh. Resume. Resume. More resuming. You there. This workshop's mine now. Oh. Probably claim the glassware. I'm assuming he's a glassmaker. He has to claim the glassworks. But I don't really care. I don't think we have any sand around here anyway. Which is a little bit disappointing, but hey. Grrr. But again, if it is something that gets fixed in the newer version, then I'm probably after regardless. But also I should mention if I am forced to abandon this, I am going to wait until the next big version that gets that actually does get released here. Just because we would be able to get a lot done. Yeah, I think don't think by default your own dwarves write any fun books. Only chance of getting that kind of book is to get a necromancer guest in your library to write that book. Odds of that happening are astronomically low. I can imagine so. I mean, I can't even imagine actually getting a necromancer guest other than, you know, here to kill us. Furnace. Magma smelter. Alright. Which means I need to dig further down by two blocks. Minimum. Then I'll have to make some more for the magma forges as well. Anywho, let them get to work. I thought you did leg work for importing, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I can imagine you could tweak it so that there was, like, a 1% chance that a dwarf would write a book like that, but, yeah, I know. And then again, that could be a high percentage, depending on how many books they would typically r write. I don't know. I haven't really, like, I've had the library, but I haven't really been able to make the full use out of it yet for all the reasons our forts die. Or at least my forts die, which drives me a bit crazy. Alright, let's get the magma smelters in here. Create a little side chamber here. Build E L, I believe, yes. Okay. Stockpile. For stone. And for bars and blocks. Now for the stone. Let's go, which one is it? Malachite? No, it's Magnetite. Economic. I do want marble. If it's in here. Ooh, also. Rod Mantine, of course. Obsidian. There's marble. Okay. This will have to be extended up by quite a bit too. Resume. Get to work, lads. So we're slowly getting things done here. We'll actually be able to get a lot more smelting going here soon, I hope. Honestly, I should have done this long ago. 
So they're making pretty good progress on the inn. Go ahead and get this placed. Shit, what have I been making this out of? Question. You pay more attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, I've probably been making it out of iron bars or some crazy shit. Damn it. Which I wouldn't necessarily be against making the iron bars out of, or making a building out of iron, considering the amount of iron I have, but because of my lack of uh, trees, I wasn't really able to make a lot. Resume. They'll slowly get that done. Don't think there is a bug report. Is there anything on the Paradexus uh, forum page? We'll only have one smith here and that'll be it. Because we, we really don't need to be pumping out armor and weapons at a high volume. There we go. Now they should be able to finish this up with no problems. So they're coming to build the smelters. Fantastic. It's going to take them a long time. To say the least. I'm not going to build the, uh, the actual metalsmith though yet. Magma metalsmith. I just want them to process all of the materials first. Man, we need something to attack us here. Alright. Build. Capital C upstairs. Oh, did I screw up? Yes, I did screw up. Because of course I did. Damn it. <laughs> I clearly must be too tired. Clearly. Move back a little bit. Uh, how did I not notice that till now? I swear. I swear. I am a damned fool. God damn, that's unbearable. Ugh, come on. Okay, I don't know what the hell is going on, but this choppiness needs to stop. Like, seriously. God damn. It's already dropping down into the 30s. 50 dwarves, that's just not acceptable. Crap. Zoom here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm honestly not sure. I might, uh, I'll probably keep going for another episode or two, but I'm, I'm thinking that we're might gonna have to 
call it. Just from, you know, death by lag, one of the major things that tends to kill all of my forts. It's not the beasts. It's not uh, general stupidity. It's the lag. God damn. All right, let's go up top. At the very least, I'm gonna get my damn tavern running. No reports on camera centering. Yeah, I don't know then. Weird. Because I noticed that before as well with Stone Sense, how it was off center. For some reason. I'll include the doors in this. Alright. I have the area set up. I think I have to set it up as a meeting area, don't I? Was it meeting or was it something else? Let me double check here. Yes, meeting areas. Whoops. Sign location, add a location. It's gonna be an inn and tavern. Containers. All right. Have to have two of those then. I need the tables, and even if I did have the tables, I need to actually set that up properly. Get some beds in here. I'm not even gonna bother flooring it in because it's taking them too damn long. Anything I can kill, only thing to kill my forts anymore is clowns and lag, yeah. Well, you never know, you might get a stone forgotten beast. As long as you, as long as you don't do anything too cheap to prevent invasion, you're always going to have some kind of challenge. Such as walling in or using too many cage traps, like you can... You can take down an entire army by using cage traps. That's why I try never to use them if I can help it. Forgotten Beast is still down there. You know what? I'm not going to do it yet. But soon enough, we're going to go down and we're going to kill that Forgotten Beast. Or we're going to die trying. Also, that, that Diplomat is still here. So I think the Diplomat is glitched out. Seems to be chilling over here. We'll set up a uh, attack square <coughs> and then prepare to meet him. <coughs> I 
All right. That diplomat has been here a long time, so I'm pretty sure he's part of that glitched out caravan that we had earlier. He could actually be the reason why we're fucked right now. Because if I go to the items screen here, I found this incredibly suspicious. If I scroll down to the very bottom, we have this mysterious number here of items, which I have never seen before. And I'm pretty sure this is increasing, so we could have glitched it out to the point where I have an entire other civilization's items that is that I am now keeping track of. Early summer 21, Dwarf Snafu became the military commander of the Gilded Mines. He's being told a story right now. Inventory. He doesn't have a lot of items on him. I just don't know. Because I can't, like, even I've done large embarks like this before. And at this state of the game, I should not be experiencing this much lag. It is way over excessive. A haunted glacier works for a challenge, too. I've done, I've done those before. It's not too bad. Especially when the Balrog showed up. That was fantastic. Of course, that was with Masterwork Dwarf Fortress. What happened with that one? I managed to... I think we embarked to begin with with a decent sized squad of people. And then we had an ogre show up. A female ogre kind of found her way in. Or no, I think a bunch of ogres found their way in. They, I tried to seal off the entrance but failed. And then they killed everybody. I then re-embarked into the area with a, another group. We managed to have a lich which is the highest tier black mage that you could get at the time. So we got down there, we managed to breach inside, which actually I didn't seal it, so that was the unfortunate part. So everything kind of creeped on in. And we found a female ogre inside. Actually, I'm not sure what killed us initially, but yeah, either way we found a female ogre. So she started... I think she went and grabbed the buttocks or whatnot of one of my dwarves, who then... I think punched her in the face or something, or hammered her, did something, and then she kind of went into a blood rage and started murdering everybody. Afterwards, we did manage to kill her, and then the Lich was like, you know what, you don't get off that easily. So everyone who died got turned into a bone golem, who then defended my fort for a while. There he goes, making his way over here. Alright, let's prepare to launch my military at this critter. I'm hoping we're gonna win. We have mostly steel armor, but it does spew poisonous fog. And it has killed many, many creatures. But I'm tired of its crap, so we're killing it. Because I'm tired of this coughing animation, er, animation, uh, coughing sound file playing constantly, so we're going to finish this bugger off. Long last. Okay, build... Capital C, downward stairs. Actually, no, not downward stairs. I need up downstairs, which is X, I believe. Yeah, downward stairs would not work out well here. Marble blocks. Excellent. Need 90 blocks. We'll have to use marble. So let's use horn blend and marble. I don't want to use up that much marble. For that, at least. Let's use the. Damn it! 
There we go. Fantastic. That'll keep them busy for a while. Lazy wankers. Let's go deal with this punk. It's getting there. Slowly getting there. The gas is too much, yes. Stop the bloody coughing, I know, right? It's almost to the point where I want to delete that sound file. This will definitely be a trial by fire for my uh, military dwarves. So who wants to be named after my last military dwarf who's probably going to die horribly? Might as well get them all named before we jump down and get obliterated. Since I have everybody, everybody else kind of named. Who wishes to die? For the glory of the Empire. What the hell? Pool of his forgotten beast substance. disappeared again. Probably because I don't have direct line of sight on it. I think I remember that shit show. It was really entertaining. Game didn't give you a break. Does it ever? Sometimes I wonder. Alright, boys. Station up, lads. Prepare for glory. Janorkin it is. So, Irvad Asso something or another. Asso blah, 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 blah. I swear these names sometimes. Asso Blushhan? Blushhan? Either way. Set nickname. May you die with dignity. I'm talking about doom and how we're going to be experiencing it very, very shortly. It gives you a break every game when it breaks the FPS. to them. They're on the way. Alright, boys. Let's breach this sucker. Uh-oh. Never mind. I may have been foolish. Whoops, I am foolish. Wasn't my intention. I screwed up. I did screw up. But I'll be fixing it shortly. Alright. By channeling down like that, that'll allow them the beast in. What if we win? The fort dies of FPS. It's a lose-lose situation, yep. Sadly, that is the truth. I don't know what caused it. There was definitely some really, really weird bug that caused the caravan to arrive invisible. 
which it's like it wasn't here, but it was because it's still docked at the trade depot. I couldn't trade. There was nothing there. Designate area, restricted. Because that's what would have happened if I'd done that. Whoa. Did you see what I did with this? I'm going to hang on to this. <laughs> Attached to an iron shield. What the hell is that forgotten beast? Got some troglodytes here, but that's about it. You know what? Alerts. We use the home alert. So scheduling. We change the scheduling to home. And actually, in that case, I have to tweak something here quickly. Okay, military scheduling. Okay, new order. Patrol route. Well, I should have to set up the patrol route, I guess. It's been a while since I've done that. Routes. Oh, I forgot. Okay, root. Add a root. Delete one. Add waypoints. Well, I guess it is going to do the same thing regardless. Roots. Edit root. Add waypoint. No, that's wrong one. There we go. Good enough. Military scheduling. Control route one. Minimum of four of you. Military alert. Activate. Schedule or schedule. Let's remove their designation right now. So they are now set to patrol this area 24-7. Can you have a fort in the middle of a volcano? Yes. It would be very difficult to play it, but yes. Um, I'm actually kind of wondering about using water to like I don't know what happens if you dump water on the lava I've done it before but I can't remember <coughs> damn it the beastie has tricked us
Okay. There he is. The troglodytes are getting absolutely wrecked right now. Wait a minute, did they just kill him? Did they finally kill him? They killed him! Holy shit! Troglodytes win! Should have got a name as well. Yeah, he's now... Was it... Lamo... Lamobi? Lamobi? Something like that. Either way. The Blossom Shadow. So the Forgotten Beast is finally dead. Well, shit. That is unfortunate. So we didn't get the chance to fight the Forgotten Beast. That is disappointing. Damn it. Oh well. In that case, I guess we're going to call this here for now. As although we haven't accomplished nearly as much as I wanted to, well, we're just going to have to live with that fact. Right. Build a bunch of tables and chairs. I should probably have them do that over here too. I could, of course, just use the manager, but screw it. To hell with it. Yay, Fort dies to FPS. <laughs> Apparently. Unless the wear monitor shows up once again. Then we'll at least have a chance to fight something. Otherwise, I'd be disappointed. What is going on here right now? They are performing a dance. go into the list here and view the activity. Dance has reached a point where its accompaniment is at a bridge passage. Satin of Poets is a group performance dance originating the Razor of Scales. The form guides dancers during improvised performances. Dance is accompanied by the Embraced Poet. Dancers perform in several lines, moving to the music's rotter rhythm. This dance is a refined art form, the four special positions to be mastered. Uh, entire dance has a basic movement called the Ol was it Olmul. There is a series of five steps in a triangle pattern with a high body level and a sinuous rightward bend performed in succession by group members. members cough. The serene soft dance is punctuated by high arm carriage and body level changes. Okay. Alrighty then. Moving on. <laughs> the hell, is this guy directing it or something? Simulate was it Nogton? Nogoton? Either way. It's like, what the hell? What the hell, game? Still no tables. Alright, screw it. Screw it for now. Let's save up. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Unfortunately, we seem to be getting into the slow FPS crawl to Doom. Oh well. At the very least, though, next time I'm not going to be embarking on such a large location. We're going to be we're going to be going small this time, or next time, so we can actually last decently long for once. Uh, don't know if we'd be able to survive though in a two by two with 120 odd dwarves, but it'd be something to try. But regardless, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely have yourselves a great one, and I will catch you all next time with some more Dwarf Fortress Madness. Where I will probably continue to suck ter horribly, it seems. Cough. Till then!